Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about setting up uh, uh, CDH5 or Cloudera distribution of Hadoop 5 on AWS. So far, we have provisioned 7 EC2 instances in AWS. We have set up parallel SSH. We have set up HTTP server using which we have set up local M repository also. So earlier, I have mentioned that we have to copy all the CDH uh, repo as well as Cloudera manager repo on all the nodes in the cluster. Um, I don't think it is required, but if it is required, we will do it later. So for now, uh, we will go ahead and try to set up the Cloudera Manager. So to get the instructions about setting up the Cloudera Manager, you can search for in automated installation by Cloudera Manager. And then you can click on download and run the Cloudera Manager installer. You have to run this command. So the file is under same archive cloudera.com there is a directory called cm5 there is a installer here and in the installer for the latest one there is a cloudera manager installer bin so you can go to this one so cm5 installer latest and this is the link Okay, and then you can run wget, paste that link, it will be downloaded. And after downloading it, you have to change the permission to get execute permissions. Okay, and now after granting execute permissions, you have to run dot slash Cloudera Manager installer bin. Um, and then hyphen hyphen skip repo package equal to one but to download and install um, for Cloudera manager we have to download a key also so under CD where www docs uh, under CM5 Red Hat X6 X8364 CM5 we need to have a file called let me show you etc yeah. m.repos.d cloudera manager dot repo if you see there is a gpg key parameter here and this should be a valid path uh, but if you if you see into this location under cm we haven't downloaded rpm gpg key cloudera so we have to do that for that also what we can do is we can copy this link and run mm -hmm. wget paste it go back here remove our http server ip address and uh, add archive dot cloudera.com and hit enter and it will uh, download this rpm gpg key cloudera under this cm location okay so this file has to be there otherwise uh, we cannot install cloudera manager using local repository okay so once it is downloaded now we can actually do cloudera manager installer bin with hyphen hyphen skip repo package equal to one okay and hit enter next next yes next yes now it is uh, installing oracle j2 sdk 1.7 and then cloudera manager server it will take a while for the installation if there are any errors while installing we can actually validate those errors by logging on to the host ssh hyphen a root at the rate of the public dns okay 
and the lo the log files for the installation will be stored under where log cloudera manager installer ls hyphen ltr okay it is still running you can actually validate what is happening on by running tail minus f two dot install cloud manager server so it is downloading the packages and installing we can see whether it is downloading from the local repository or from the public repository here so it is actually downloading from the local repository only okay if it is downloading from the public repository it would have provided the links here and we will see whether the installation is still going on and um, the installation is done it is saying use this uh, uh, port number to actually uh, uh, log into the cloudera manager with username admin and password admin click on okay click on okay and you can see these are the things which have happened it has uh, check as linux is enabled or not it has installed oracle j2 sdk 1.7 it has installed cloudera manager server it has installed cloudera manager server database it has uh, uh, inst started embedded db which is postgres db and it has started scm server also so all these things are done successfully hopefully we can validate it by using our public dns so even though it has uh, showing the private ip address call 7180 we can actually connect to the cloudera manager using public dns 7180 and hit enter now it has log uh, it has launched the uh, cloudera manager admin admin is the default username and password and you can log into the cluster so lo log into the cloudera manager and from here you can accept the end user license terms and conditions and you can start setting up the rest of the stuff so so far what we have done uh, we have uh, downloaded the cloudera manager installer um, and then we have uh, copied the gpg key we have used the gpg gpg key url in in the cloudera manager dot repo file and we have downloaded the gpg key and then we have uh, uh, modified the permissions on installer.bin file and then we have launched the installer.bin with hyphen hyphen skip repo package equal to 1 so that it does not look for the public repositories to install the software instead it user it has used the local m repository which is configured as part of our cloudera manager.repo so that being said i hope um, uh, you are liking the content as part of the next video using the cloudera manager wizard we will start setting up the rest of the stuff for now um, if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certification or big data please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen certification or itversity hyphen big data and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time and then on top of that uh, if you live in uh, countries such as us and uk where uh, youtube fan funding is supported uh, after subscribing to my channel if you uh, visit my channel page you will see support the channel section here you can use that to support so that you can get more and more content like this over time thank you bye